Hey everybody, Jackie with Serpent Biscuits here, and we are making candy. We are making my husband's favorite candy in the whole world, Southern Pecan Divinity Candy. If you've never had Pecan Divinity Candy, oh my goodness gracious, you are just missing out on a treat that is so hard to describe. I mean, you, you have to experience Southern Pecan Divinity Candy. This is the kind of candy that you cook, you, you boil a syrup, but do not be intimidated by that because I'm gonna take you step by step and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. There are a few rules you have to follow. One is you have to have a candy thermometer because we've got to boil the syrup to an exact temperature, but that's easy to do if, if, if you've got a candy thermometer. So basically all you have to do to make Southern Pecan Divinity Candy it's a syrup mixture up of sugar, light corn syrup, a little bit of salt, a little bit of water. You boil that to 260 degrees. Then you're going to take the syrup, pour it in a very thin stream over two egg whites that you've beaten to stiff peaks, and just let that whip up, whip up, whip up until it gets set, almost set. Add in some pecans, add in some vanilla, stir that around. Spin it out on wax paper. That's it. That's all there is to it. Anybody can make this candy. So stick with us because we're making Southern Pecan Divinity Candy. Y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, you can see I've got my um, candy thermometer in there um, adjusted. I put it in first so I can make sure that it doesn't touch the bottom of the pan because you don't want to touch the bottom of the pan or you'll get an artificially high reading on your thermometer. We're going to have to cook this to 260 degrees, which is a hardball stage. So it's going to cook for quite some time. In here I have added two and a half cups of sugar, one half cup of light corn syrup, I use Cairo, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of water. Now we're only going to stir this until the sugar dissolves and then we're not going to stir it anymore. We're just going to let it let it boil until it reaches hard boil stage. Okay, now you can see that it's starting to boil here. I've been uh, had this over medium high heat and you can see that it's starting to boil. As soon as it starts to boil, you know that the sugar is dissolved and that's when we stop stirring. Oh, my little candy thermometer just messed up. That's when we stop stirring and just let it boil now until it gets to 260 degrees by the thermometer. Um, that's the hard boil stage. If you are accustomed to not using a food thermometer and testing the different stages of syrup by the water method, um, it, for hard boil, when you drop the syrup into some water, room temperature water, it's supposed to clump up and get hard. Um, I, I've never validated that to make sure that it is accurate. I can tell you the candy thermometer is accurate. So th this is going to boil for a while. It'll take it it'll take it a few minutes to get up to 260 degrees. All right, the syrup is almost to temperature and I just wanted you to see how rapidly it boils. It it boils too fast. So don't think you're overcooking it if you get it boiling just this fast. No stirring at this point. Okay, I got Sam um minding the syrup over there for me while we make well, we beat the eggs and make the egg whites. Now you want your, your beater bowl clean and dry. You want your whisk attachment clean and dry. And we're gonna beat these egg whites until they form stiff peaks. <laughs> Okay, see how nicely it holds its shape? There we go, so the egg whites are ready. We're waiting for the syrup to get up to 260 degrees, and then we're gonna, we're gonna pour it in a thin stream, and that's the reason that you need somebody to help you, because um, it takes a little while to pour the volume of syrup that we have in only a tiny little thin stream at the time, so your arms get tired. Sam's here with the hot pot of syrup, I'm gonna turn the mixer on, we're still with the whisk attachment, I'm gonna turn the mixer on high, and I want you to see what a thin stream of syrup you've got to pour on here. 
Every minute or so, just stop the mixer, hold up your whisk attachment, and see that that is just about ready. It's just it's just about to hold its shape. We're gonna go just maybe another minute here. Okay, one more minute, and there we are. Now we're gonna add um, vanilla extract, and sometimes I measure, and sometimes I just let the angels tell me how much they want me to put in. But it's usually around a teaspoon, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna put in one and a half cups of chopped pecans. One and a half to two cups. We probably go more for two cups because we're pecan eating people. Okay, beaters down. Okay. Mix the pecans and the vanilla up in there. There we go. All right, now this calls for all hands on deck because now we've got to scoop it out. All right, so we just we just scoop it out by the by the little spoonfuls and um. We're using long handle teaspoons here for no other reason other than all of our other teaspoons are in the dishwasher dirty. Scoop it out in little pieces. And I really encourage you to have somebody help you do this because this just once, once the candy gets to this point, it starts to set up pretty quickly. So you want to get it out of your bowl. And here's our other helper, Belle. Hey, Belle. Now that you see how easy this is, I hope you are pulling out your pots and your candy thermometer or heading to the store to buy a candy thermometer so you, so you can make this candy. It's just, it it's, would not be Christmas for us without Southern Pecan Divinity Candy. And it's so easy. And see, I've got it in my pretty little candy dish here. Um, this recipe makes about 40 pieces. Um, we, have, we have a little bit less than 40 pieces because we've already gotten into it. Now, some people like to, instead of putting the chopped pecans in the candy mixture, they like to place a pecan half after they after you dipped out your little your little pieces of candy. They like to place a pecan half on top of this, whichever way you want to do it. We just like the chopped pecans all mixed in there. It's a matter of preference. Just do it. Just make this candy and just do it. It is unbelievably good. So I have loved having you at my kitchen today as we make one of our traditional candy recipes. You can get this recipe and others on syrupandbiscuits.com. Y'all come see us and God bless every one of you.